we see that uh, these days lot of uh, hardware engineers use uh, LT Spice, which is from analog circuits um, for their uh, simulation requirements. Uh, one of the major advantages is that uh, most of the analog parts and uh, um, previously uh, linear technologies parts um, are available in this simulation tool or if you can create, uh, if you want you can create a SPICE model and then uh, simulate. So there are uh, many advantages with this tool so people do use it uh, regularly. So one important requirement as a part of this uh, simulations when we do uh, we do add some additional components to the existing circuitry and then uh, um, simulate it uh, at the end of it uh, um, we have to manually write down all these components and then uh, create a bill of material one <coughs> feature uh, which every um, engineer would look out uh, from any EDA tool is uh, uh, the bill of material generation so even LT Spice has uh, bill of material generation so if we go go to view um, there is an option called bill of materials and uh, uh, so we can uh, tick mark this which shows uh, uh, the bill of material on the schematic itself so you can see here uh, along with reference you just get uh, the entire components here resistors we did not uh, include any part numbers <coughs> so a generic resistor has been used so that's why you, you don't see any part numbers so other uh, major components you have the um, part numbers for them so uh, not only this you can just uh, uh, if required copy uh, this to an excel sheet so you can say paste to clipboard uh, take a uh, take a word document and then uh, try to copy this uh, if required so uh, there are several uh, options in, in built into this uh, um, LT spice uh, uh, so we'll discuss about other uh, um, options in the next uh, um, video so thanks for watching uh, please give a thumbs up if you like our video